private property. You can't be in here. How would I know that? What are we doing? Did you hear the radio? Huh? I'm waiting for a... These How's it going guys? Amagansett Press. Uh, we are coming to you today from Parker, Colorado, and we are at the U.S. Post Office here in Parker. And uh, we're just going to pay a little visit on these folks and find out how they're doing today and make sure that they are honoring and respecting our First Amendment right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, as some of you may already be aware, we are getting ready for a big trip, a uh, very big trip. Uh, we're actually uh, giving up our place and heading out on the road. Um, we're going to be living on the road for the next who knows how long. Uh, just got a new travel trailer and uh, we're going to be traveling across country bringing you non-stop content. Um, so looking forward to that. and. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. We've been very busy, so sorry we haven't seen you lately. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to wrap things up properly, do your homework, and uh, get all the work behind the scenes done to be able to do something like this. Uh, but we're just about there, leaving in about 10 days or so, um, and it's gonna be fantastic. So uh, we hope to see you out there. Hope you uh, stay tuned. And uh, also, just wanna remind you guys, uh, somebody said this to me a while back, and um, I think it applies to us right now more than ever, but I think it also applies to all of us. Um, always keep in mind and remember, because we all have goals, um, but a goal without a deadline is merely a dream. So make your goals happen, make your deadlines, and get out there and live the best life you can. Uh, I am out with my son watching The Watchmen today, and uh, let me give you a little view of the neighborhood here in Parker and while I'm doing that time and temperature check today is Monday August 2nd it is 2 30 in the afternoon and it is 86 degrees sunny and beautiful in Parker Colorado how you making out there Watchman? what's up what's happening Watchman's been busy getting ready for the trip too so uh make sure you subscribe to his channel and hit the uh, all notifications bell so you don't miss anything. Um, it's gonna be a lot going on very soon, but we're gonna see how these folks are doing here today. You wanna go take a look at the front? Yeah. Check out the signage, see what's going on. So let's see what we have here. See, here's one of those situations where you have a sign here that says employee parking, vehicles entering and exiting are subject to search. Uh, which is the case, uh, and it says on this side, authorized vehicles only, uh, which may give you the indication that you're not allowed back here and that this is a restricted area, uh, but based on what these signs say, it's not uh, just restricted to uh, employee vehicles and uh, advising them that they will be searched or subject to search. And then here we have employee parking only. And then these two signs are identical. They both say reserved parking for postal employees only, uh, stating the uh, CVC section. Uh, but pedestrian traffic is not prohibited by any of these signs. Want to take a look back here first? Yeah. It's really beautiful out today. It's nice. Postmaster parking. So I'm assuming the postmaster is here today. This guy's got special parking up on the grass. All right, so now Here's another one of these interesting situations. There are no signs on this gate at all. Yeah. So pedestrian traffic, as we just showed you, is allowed to come back through here, right? Yeah. And there's nothing here. So 
Let me just double check on the front of this gate. Yep, nothing. So I'm gonna assume that means we can walk back here until told differently. All right, so also teeing off into this area here. I don't see any signage, do you? No, definitely not. Yeah, that's pretty cool how they have their own logos on the front. employees only when you walk in through it the says employee lot. vehicles only yes i didn't know that applies to pedestrian traffic pedestrian traffic if you're on the outside edge but this is the postal property well we did i actually walked along the outside edge can yeah. i just ask who you are so i know i'm speaking to i'm tina tina nice to meet you tina my name is jason what are we recording so for? well let me just finish what i was going to say to you okay. we did walk around the outside and look for signs there are no signs here that say you can't walk in here so that's why we did i looked for the signs first okay the purpose oh we're just checking out the post office okay well you're more than welcome to come to the front door where the customer oh yeah we're gonna is. yeah we're gonna come around there next okay i actually was just looking at the uh postal emblem on the front of that truck that's kind of cool i've never seen that before uh on the mercedes van yeah it almost looks like a mercedes logo when you quick glance well, at it, it from a, a distance mercedes van. well but you see the logo it's the eagle on the front yeah it's, i've just never seen that before okay well and are you the postmaster no i'm not oh okay cool Okay. Well, like I said, there are no signs out here. So if you guys don't want people walking back in this area, maybe put some signs up. Well, we're not used to having pedestrian traffic back here. It's usually vehicles. And okay. that's why there's a sign that says employee cars only. Employee cars. I'm not driving a car. I know. Right. But we're not used to pedestrian and traffic. And I stick to the signs and I obey, I know. you know, but our restricted areas. our walkway from the sidewalk goes across in front of the signs there to the post office lobby for the customers. We don't have a walkway for pedestrians back here. Well, there's nothing that's, the, the way our society works is, unless it's expressly prohibited, it's allowed. That's the way the law works. So if it's not prohibited, okay. I'm just suggesting All maybe right, you want to put I'll some signs up. So it's okay if we take a look back here? No, not really. Well, tell me yes or no. If, you, if you're asking me to leave, I'll leave. If you're not, then... I did say that this was not for pedestrian traffic back here, and you're wanting to argue. No, 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 I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm just suggesting that maybe you put up... Well, you're obnoxious. I'm not trying to be obnoxious. You no, know, you're trying. Well, maybe you don't try. Maybe it's just natural for you. I don't know. Well, all right. She didn't ask me to leave, did she? I don't think so. No, I don't know. I wasn't very clear about that at all. I wasn't very uh, clear either. But yeah, I just also want to point out to you guys. Um, do you see the attitude that you get? I mean, I'm, she doesn't want people walking back here. And I have pointed out a little flaw in her system that there are no signs restricting anybody from walking back here. And she decides to accuse me of being argumentative and walks away in the middle of a conversation um, and doesn't even recognize the fact that we may have pointed out a security flaw or a uh, lack of signage that she may want to address, so. Should be interesting to see how they feel when we're up front. And as you folks who follow us know, we never like to miss an opportunity to recognize old glory. Not much of a breeze today, but standing proud nevertheless. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten, never forget. So let's see what kind of signage we have on the doors here. So 
So please protect yourself and others. Masks or face coverings are recommended inside of our lobby. Uh, it has a up immediately symbol here in the corner and sometimes there will be a down date to take it down that doesn't even exist on this particular sign. Uh, so Parker, Maine post office, hours, federal holidays, and that's about all we have on the doors here. Hello. Hi there. How you doing? Good. Taking pictures? Yes. Sorry? Is it my camera? Right now, yeah. Nice. Yeah, see, there you go. Guy who enjoys on being on camera, you yeah. know? It's not just Alec Baldwin. You have a good day. You Appreciate you. Famous people enter and leave. That uh, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay. Yeah. Are you famous? You'll never know. Ah, see. That's why I said trying to find out. A little Parker police going by up there. Sorry? I couldn't hear you. What are we filming? Oh, we're just doing a little story about the post office. Oh, cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just seeing what goes on here at the post office. And it's pretty boring, mm -hmm. especially on like tax day. Well, it's business and the quarter tax. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't know it was tax day. Okay. All right, yeah. we were like, wonder what they're like. Yeah, no, no harm in asking. I appreciate you. Appreciate your smile. And... Well, good luck. You guys aren't going to believe this. I was driving by, and I was like, I know those guys. I watch all your videos. Do you really? Yeah. Right on. Cool. Election stuff, post offices. And did you just stop to say building. hello to us, or are you no, actually I going to the... around to come back and say hello, yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate your, you. I guess you enjoy what we do? Oh, yeah. Good. Well, Love I appreciate you, your yeah. support. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, thank you guys. I, I, I had the, I don't do anything. I just watch all stuff. But well, that helps. You guys put yourself in danger with ridiculous, um, you know, over enforcement and things like that that come up. And For sure. Escalating things unnecessarily. So. Yep. Uh, thank you guys. No, well, again, thank you. We really appreciate you. And if you can think of anything that you can do to get out there and stand up for what you believe is right, we encourage you to do it. I try. I you know, try. if you don't want to put I, yourself into that level of harm's way or anything, I get that. Yeah, I, I do little things. It's, I need to do more, though. No. You guys are. You only need to do what you feel like you need to do. Yeah. So. Well, I'll just get back to it. Maybe. No, it's all good. I appreciate you swinging around and saying something to stop them by. I think they're they're going to keep going. Okay. But uh, no, it's very important that uh, you guys stop and say hello to us because it gives us, it feeds us, and gives us the. Uh, I Choose to keep stuff, going, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, I appreciate that. All right, well, good talking to you guys. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. Take care. All righty. Appreciate it. I'll look, look for you online. Thank you, sir. Are you filming? We are, yes. You look fantastic today, oh. don't worry. <laughs> okay, what's the event? Sorry? What's the event? Uh, happy post office day. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Are you an employee? Am I an employee of? Post office. No. No, okay, cool. Are you? No, I retired from the Air Force and I was a cop for 22 years. Cop for 22 years? Yeah. How'd you like that? Hey, 
Best job I ever had. Really? Yeah. Cool. Started. Let me ask you a question. When you were a cop for 22 years, did you ever uh, arrest or write up any other officers? Uh, I did. I did have to report uh, a couple of officers. You did. Good yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah. Good. Got to keep them in line. Matter of fact, uh, one came from another agency, and you can't do a drop kick with your knee on, a, on the inmate's head. So that don't go too well. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. doesn't. Yeah, but, yeah, well, yeah. But see, I don't know all the circumstances, but it doesn't sound like a good well, idea. Well, the guy's down. You can't knee drop him on the head. Well, it doesn't sound doesn't sound like a nice thing to do. No, no for sure. Yeah. All right. And I assume you never did anything like that, right? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Never smoked any marijuana, but I used to go and catch him when I was undercover. Catch yeah. the guy smoking marijuana? Well, uh, selling stuff. So oh, who, I got you. who am I with? Just this handsome gentleman next to me here. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, we're gonna go in and take a look around anyway. It's just where we were heading. But I appreciate right. talking to you, man. Hey, no problem. You have a good day. You so you have the uh, self-service kiosks here, divided by a uh, shower curtain. Yeah. And we have our poster seven here. The most hotly debated government uh, postal document, I would dare to say. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Activity in this lobby may be monitored or recorded for operational security purposes. And other lawful purposes. So let's check out what's going on here. So we have another poster seven here, and it's dated 2016. A little bit newer copy. Yeah, I think the most recent one's 2018, isn't it? That I've seen. Yeah, I don't remember. Which one was it? Oh, right now. Yeah. 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 Which one was it? Oh, right down here. Okay, let me see. Our lobby. It's weird. It's weird to talk about people when you're three feet away from them, acting like they're not there. That's weird. Yep. Yeah. No, must be in the other. Must be in the other one. <laughs> we'll find it. Did you hear her just say they can do that? We'll leave them find alone. It. What are we doing? Did you hear the radio? Huh? Her supervisor just told her to leave us alone. We can do this. Why so. are you doing it? We are standing up for your rights as well as our rights and everybody else's rights, man. But you don't have to be recorded if you don't want to. Is it in this one? Doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother her. See, stop trying to instigate a problem there, young I'm lady. I'm not instigating anything. No, I know you're not, but you're trying to. No, I'm not trying. Just because you failed at it doesn't mean you didn't try to do it. I'm just ignoring it. Be nice to her. Can't oh, I'm being very her. nice. You should see me when I'm not nice. <laughs> But I, I really do I really do appreciate you. Oh, here's Thank you very much. It wasn't on this side, was it? It was absolutely on this outside. Okay, it was on the outside. Because I had to cross in front of the So we side. tried that one. So, Another one. Chastity. Oh, isn't that far up? What, um, it wasn't this far up? Uh-huh. It's got to be either this far up. So Chastity called us in and told somebody on the radio that we're in here recording and she was told to leave us alone and ignore us and that we're allowed to do what we're doing. So... That's good. At least the higher ups here uh, have a clue what's going on. We'll see how the counter handles it, because I do need to get my stamp. Yeah. For sure. Wonder if the post office has Apple Pay. Oh, yeah. there, we'll find out. Good. Can I have one stamp, please? All right, one stamp. How you doing today, Mark? Doing good. It's going to be 55 cents. I'm going to put those down so I get my money. Did you guys do Apple Pay? No, not no. yet. Got to break we're, out the we're waiting for that to come up. There you go. Sooner or later, huh? 
We just got the chip reader. So oh, did you? <laughs> we've had that for a while, but like I said, it's going to be a little bit. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And just a minute, it's going to go ahead and prompt you. Go ahead and do your card. Go ahead and do your card for me, please. How's life treating you today? Good. Good. And just one last question for you, Mark. Is the Postmaster available by any chance? I can find out. Thank you, I appreciate it. On the very bottom, we're doing a survey to let us know how we're doing. All right? Yes, I think you're doing and an you excellent job, and I appreciate your courteous uh, service there. Thank, Thank you. you. And your last name is? Hank. My last name? For the Postmaster, let her know that. Oh, you just know Jason is here. Jason. My name's Jason, yep. Hello. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Lisa, do you get a mic on? If they really want my last name, they can get it off my credit card transaction. They're going to send us over to the uh, blue door. It's going to be a traffic jam with the blue door. Busy, busy, busy. Let's see what's going on with that machine. So my GoPro just overheated again. So I uh, switched over to my phone. It's always something with these GoPros. Uh, no, I probably should. I don't know. I did a few weeks ago, I guess. Could be something else. Any luck? Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, great. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. I used to be in video. That's why I wanted to know. You were in video? No, I was actually in print. But print? I was writing around a lot. Of oh, okay. Video. Like books? Newspapers? Newspapers. There you go. Well, were you a, a columnist? I was a publisher. Publisher. There you go. Very cool. Yeah. Great publications in the day before everything went down. All the trade publications were online. Yeah, everybody's online now. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you couldn't convert it I, over I to, never. couldn't convert what you do over to an online situation? Yeah, I was done. I, was just I hear done. you. <laughs> <laughs> I got, that That tells the whole story. I hear you. Ma'am, I can come and help you. Oh, did you guys oh he's already. Well, we're waiting for a uh, yeah. supervisor to come out. The supervisor or the postmaster? Postmaster. postmaster. And the supervisor is not available? Here we go. We're playing games now. They're caught and they know it. She's on a conference call. It took them five, ten minutes to realize she was on a conference call. It's fascinating. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. I literally just have a one-minute question i just have to ask them is there anybody going to come out or do i just stay here 
Uh, as far as Carlos is taking care of a customer right now. Um, is that the guy that was standing here talking to you with the black shirt on? Yeah, and then we got Chastity here, who's uh, one of the supervisors. Well, I guess I'll wait in line. How's it going, man? So where next? Are you the only supervisor available? Uh, I need to help my customer. Sir, come up here with your ticket. Are you, I, I'm waiting to speak to a supervisor. I've been standing here patiently for 10 and minutes. Are you just going to ignore me? Sir, can I So then you? I need your name to put on the complaint. Excuse me. No, I need your name. I need your name there. Carlos. Okay. I'm waiting for... A, these, <laughs> this is fantastic. This is your post office, guys. This is what you got. The incompetence runs deep. So, so you're not going to have somebody come out and speak to me, Chastity? I need you to move over so I can wait on this customer. Yeah, well, I'm glad somebody's getting help in here. You're not going to slam the door on him? 5947, Ponderosa Way. You're an obnoxious little thing, and it's going to be on your complaint, Chastity, so you keep your eyes out for it, okay? I'm going to close this door. Yeah, you close the door. Slam it on him like you did to me. Obnoxious. Good luck, brother. Absolutely obnoxious. Well. Fine. Um, yes. The postmaster. You? You're the postmaster. I am. I'm so glad you came out. I'm Lisa Manti. Nice to meet you. Or, that matters. Well, no, I'm nice glad you, you thank you for introducing yourself. And I can see your smile even under your mask. So I appreciate that. Thank you. You don't have to concern yourself with that for us. If you feel more comfortable breathing fresh air outside, it's okay with us. There you go. No. Um, no, I have to take a breath and then I'm good. There you so. go. So basically the only reason I wanted to speak to you was when we first got here, my name's Jason. Hi, Jason. This is my son, Ben. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And we're just taking some video around town here. Sure. And we came yeah. to the post office. And we walked around the back. We very carefully read all of your signage. Um, and it appears to me that all of these signs apply to vehicles and not pedestrian traffic. Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. So we walked around the back. Good. And uh, Tina came out uh -huh. and was being less than cordial, was obviously visibly upset, and told us that there was signage out here telling us we're not allowed to be back there. Well, so. Yeah, I don't agree with that. So. Right. And I just wanted to suggest to her, I said to her, if you want me to leave, you're asking me to leave, I'll leave. And she said, do whatever you want. And she was just being very okay. flippant. Um, well, but I thank think- thank you for the information. Cause that's, I, I wanna, I, I, I don't like that. Right. You know, so. And I think that, you know, if you guys put some signage up that says restricted area, you know, if you don't want people back there, that good, might- Good point. Yeah. So like the fenced in area over there, I, that's what you're talking about, right? Yes. Where it's not gated. Yes. Yeah. The fence in area with a postal delivery vehicles right. parked. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and I get you know for security yeah. reasons, right. I get you might not want folks right. wandering around back there, right. but you you need to post that. Right. You know. Yeah. And then if an employee is going to come out and have a conversation about something, just be cordial and right. respectful. That's right. all. You know. You see how I'm being with right. you. Yeah. And I always meet cordial with cordial, and I can meet not so cordial with not so cordial too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm originally from New York. I can't get it out of my system. Oh no, you can't. No. <laughs> you don't sound like it. Well, I think it's waning. I don't know. Maybe. I think when I get upset, it comes. I'm like Ricky Ricardo. Oh, yeah. When I get mad, the accent comes back. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but seriously, I really appreciate you coming out. Sure, I no think problem. you uh, are being very professional and courteous. And that's all I wanted to do was have a conversation that sure, way. Sure, I'll talk to them. Because that's kind of like a little, right. not an intentional one, but it's kind of, sort of like a trap. You know, somebody could get themselves in trouble being back there exactly. when they didn't want to. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of go around and this is what we do. I know. Um, so you know who we are and what we do? I do. Okay, good. Yeah. So, That's why I wanted to come out and talk to you because, I, you know, it's not bad. Because you don't want a million phone calls tomorrow. No, it's just not. It's not a bad thing. You what know? we do. I just what you do. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. Because it's educational, if nothing else. Right. That's Little. why they told me that you were still here. I'm sorry, been on the phone. No, you know, that's okay. Some people and that's okay. I wanted to come out and chat with you a little bit. I, I so. certainly do appreciate that, and you've made me yeah. feel a lot better about what's going on here. Okay. Um, and I, you yeah. know, I, I am never looking to get anybody in trouble, looking to get right. reprimanded. But I think maybe a little casual conversation in the break room 
with well, these folks about how they handled this situation today? And it, it, educating them. I mean, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's paranoia. You know that. It's paranoia. You know that. Right. It's, it's part paranoia. And I also think that some people, not everyone, but some people, when they're given a little bit of authority, um, kind of take it a little too yeah. far and maybe feel like they don't have to be courteous anymore and they don't owe the public anything and there's no reason to have a smile on their face and you know I see things the opposite I think you give yeah. a lot of people you give you get what you give in this world right. and chastity was absolutely from the start of me being here without even saying words were completely obnoxious you'll see the video and uh, yeah. that's just you know one day she's gonna rile I'm not that guy I'm a nice guy and if I'm beat you saw me leave and I'm gonna walk away and you'll probably never see me again other people maybe not so much you know she right. might rile up the wrong guy one day and that's not yeah, necessary no, we don't, you don't, we don't need any of that, that. So, right? anyway i apologize was that you that. on the radio with her that told her to that no. we were allowed to be doing what we were doing no because she saw us taking video and she called us in immediately and somebody got on the radio and said leave them alone they're allowed to be doing what they're doing no so that person anything. deserves a handshake because okay, they know what their rules and regulations right. are yeah. and i think before people started doing these post office audits there was a lot of confusion about poster seven it was. and even the employees and the postmasters didn't really know, but you know what? And right. I'll, I'll say it's partly because the government tends to write rules and regulations in a very ambiguous way. Right. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but that's sometimes well, how these things are done. Right. No, we had some things coming out about videos being taken. Um, and, uh, more like it was invading on some people's privacy with the post post office people you okay know, like you can't take pictures of anyone's mail or anything like that okay so i think it just kind of stemmed off is that the that. case though What's because that? you know what people i'll often say to somebody well the post office has 30 cameras up and they're videotaping everything you do and they'll say well that's the post office and that's for their security cameras and nobody gets to see that but the reality of that situation is i can FOIA request all that camera footage and you'd have to give it to me and then I could do whatever I want with it because it's public information. So I think more importantly, and what would help people, instead of getting this false sense of privacy out in public, is to realize that when you go out in public, the best thing to do is leave your private stuff at home. Right. And and know right. that you're being videotaped at the bank, at the everywhere gas everywhere. station, everywhere, everywhere yeah. these days. So, you know, yeah. don't do anything you don't want anybody to see. That's, right. That's all and behave yourself, and then you won't have anything to worry about. That's right. But you've been extremely professional and courteous, and I believe that you will follow up with your... Like I said, I I'm not looking to get anybody yeah. in trouble. Now that you've come out, I'm not going to bother filing any complaints because I'm going to trust that you'll handle it. Absolutely. Um, but there will Absolutely. be somebody coming back, if it's not me, yeah. in a few weeks, in a couple of months, whatever, to just check and see how things yeah. went. So I hope they have a different experience. Yeah. And I hope that uh, you get through to them and just let them know what it is. Yeah. yeah. I will. All right. Will. And I'm sorry, your first name again? My name's Lisa. Lisa, Jason. Yeah. Well, and I really appreciate nice you. you both. Yeah, same here. So are you from Colorado? Uh, I'm now. Here, right now? Right now, you're yeah. Colorado? Yeah, not originally. But not Parker, necessarily? No, anyway, well, not, not for... About, I was going to say welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, we're about 25 so, minutes, half an hour oh, away. We moved here a couple okay. of years ago. Yeah. Um, and we enjoy it. We love it. I think the best part about Colorado, the be Colorado's best kept secret is the weather. Yeah. It's fantastic. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so hot yeah. and dry, not humid most of the time. Has been a little bit lately, but yeah. we can handle that. So I'll just leave you. I know you have other things to do, but I'm just going to leave you with this. You're in, a, you're in a very good position to have influence over a lot of people's lives. Yes. And I think you should maybe, I'm not saying you haven't because we don't know each other, but maybe try to use that position in a way to positively affect people's lives and change the way these people think and get them more into a... You know, especially what's going on these days, man. We all, you need to be glad you woke up this morning. Right. You, you, you can breathe. Right. Your children and your grandchildren and your friends and family are fine. And there's a lot of things to be very happy about right. in this world. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, getting upset so easily because someone's taking a little video is foolish in my mind. But hopefully this was a fruitful visit. Yeah. And uh, hopefully so. you get some signs up back there if it's a restricted area. Well, that's something we need to look at because we can't keep that gate closed all the time we have too many trucks coming through. well i'll tell you what and so. just about i don't want to say every post office but 99 percent of the post offices i go to have that area marked as restricted yeah so there's probably signs available to you i'm sure, sure. yeah <laughs> but we appreciate you i really do i want you to know how much i appreciate you right. coming out i thank right. you for that well, and you made me feel you. a lot better about the whole thing good. all right excellent you guys take have care. a good day you too thank you well all right guys so the postmaster came out that was a good thing and uh yeah so 
hopefully she'll follow through and hopefully she will uh, be a woman of her word and have a conversation with these folks and uh, get it straightened out because this behavior by our employees is unacceptable. There's really no reason for it. Um, they don't have any authority to act that way and it's just foolish. So uh, enough said, I don't wanna beat a dead horse here. Um, but I always like to remind you guys, if you enjoy our videos, you like what we do and you wanna support what we do, best way for you to do that, hands down, is to like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, I always ask, but somewhere around 10% of the people that watch our videos subscribe and I know you guys are enjoying them because we get the likes. Uh, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe. You have no idea how that helps our channels grow and how it helps us get out to more and more people so that more people can watch our videos, enjoy our videos, and hopefully learn something. Uh, we really are out here for educational purposes. Uh, we're trying to educate ourselves. We hope these employees here learn something today. And uh, that's it. So affect positive change wherever you can. And uh, you know, however big, however small, it all helps. And we appreciate you for what you do as well. And we encourage you to get out there in whatever small way, big way, whatever you want to do to stand up for what's right in this world and uh, be an asset, not a detriment. Um, very important. And like I said to the other guy that stopped to talk to us for a few minutes here, um, if you have any goals, make them happen, man. Set deadlines. Because again, a goal without a deadline is just a dream. And uh, we all need to quit dreaming and live our lives and have a good time and enjoy ourselves and help others. And uh, people that you're helping may not even realize that you're helping them at the time. But as time goes by and they have a chance to process it and discuss it and think about what happened, they'll figure it out. Um, I have all the faith in the world. So that's it. Um, I also encourage you to support watching a watchman. Uh, he's putting a lot of work into his videos as usual. He's doing a great job. He's got a whole different perspective, point of view. Uh, you'll see information in his videos, maps, um, stuff that you won't find here. So check him out. I'll leave a link in the description to him as well. Um, but that's it. So I guess we're going to hop in the truck, head down the road, and see what else we can find for you here in Parker, Colorado. Before we leave on our big trip, we won't see Parker again for a long time. So coming to you from the United States Post Office here in Parker, watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.